this skip coming to you live straight out of real six aquatic kennels right before you is my peel chancho big eagle at a whopping 13 inches and speaking of peel let's jump right into the topic at hand the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to talk about a subject that has been on my mind pretty much plaguing me for years even decades since the mid to late 80s there has been a question unanswered about this mighty species so let's take a look at smoke and then jump right into the topic at hand for years I've always wondered why for some reason all orange Midas or peeled Midas did not look exactly the same or alike. They had similar characteristics of course but some had deeper bodies than others some had more of an elongated body some had flatter faces rounder mouths and lips and I know there was a lot of hybridizing going on back then as well between the labianum's red devil and the Midas but I'm not talking about those type of differences because I can easily detect those differences even back then I'm talking about pure Midas pure pure Midas like the parents of Miss Roxy that were both orange but she remained bald all the rest of her siblings pretty much peeled so what is Miss Roxy? What type of Midas is she? Is she just a plain bald Midas or is she something other than? And that's the question I'm going to attempt to tackle today in this video. Now let's take a look at smoke and Miss Pearl offspring here right before you as you can see all the Midas in this tank they range between one and two inches are barred and all these Midas are off of smoke their dad over there and Mrs. Pearl which is an orange peeled Midas now my question to you guys, and please leave me comments in the comment section below and let me know your opinion or your thoughts on the video topic for today. How do we classify these fish? Because I know from experience that at least 60 to 70 percent of these fish are going to peel either an orange variation a reverse bar variation all white with some orange bars or creamsicle like that guy or their dad smoke and what about the 30 to 40 percent that does not peel and remain bar how do we classify those Now I know the answer to the question. I know how I would do it. But I'm just wondering how you guys would do it. Because for years, people have been breeding peeled orange mitas, white mitas, creamsicles, without even thinking of the fact that they have a barred counterpart. Listen up closely. A barred counterpart. Meaning, if we classify all the bar mites, amarillos, you know, arrows, arrows aren't really mites per se, in my opinion, but they are, they are in the mites 
species complex, and we'll talk about that a little later because now that's now Midas has his own complex. That's like saying you have a Dovi species complex or Oscar species complex. Now we have a Midas species complex. If you go online now, all the information has been revised since I've been making videos about this species and series about this species over the years. I notice now the information is changing. But we won't jump. We'll, let's get back to the topic at hand. How do we classify these guys? You have Amarillo's, Isolated's bars. What are these? If they remain bald, what kind of bald Midas are they? Now, I know Miss Pearl is a peel Isolated's. So I know she has Isolated's genetics in her DNA. So that would make these fish Isolated's genetically in their DNA. I know that Smoke over there, I'm 99% sure he is a peel creamsicle isolatus. So if he's a peel creamsicle variation, Then what are these? What can we take from this video? What can we learn from me making this video? And apply to our breeding programs or discuss within this aquatic community to come up with answers to some of these unanswered questions about the Amphilopus mitis species complex and other complex, other fish species your dovis, your African cichlids Central South American and African there are a lot of questions in this hobby and in this aquatic community that are unanswered But here's the thing, you have to know which questions to ask in order to get the answers that you're looking for. And that's something that I have been doing for years, for decades. Asking other hobbyists, other people, and myself these questions. And researching, looking to find the answer. I receive hundreds of questions by way of text messages, emails, through Facebook, YouTube, a day, and request a day. And I go through each and every one of them, believe it or not. And the ones that piques my curiosity, those are the ones I choose to make videos of and answer those topics. the ones that I find most interesting. So what can we take away from this video series? What, what are the fish facts? The fact is, each peel variation Midas have a barred counterpart. That's the bottom line. That's what you all should take from this video series. If you have a Saggy, you have a bar Saggy, you have a peel Saggy like King Abu, you've seen him in my past videos. You have an Earl, you have a Bard Earl, you have a Peel Earl, Earl variation. No one has ever seen, well, knew or know what they were looking at when they seen it. A Peel Chancho. Until I made a video about it. Until Big Eagle. People didn't even know it exists. People didn't even know the question to ask about the chancho until now. Now people are asking, can they peel? Is it true? Is ego really a peel chancho? All these different questions. But if it wasn't for people like myself, to raise your eyebrows and make you think about what you're viewing and what you're saying in these videos and on the internet, you wouldn't even know.
So please take note, each and every, for each and every barred mitre species, whether it's an armorello, isoletus, arrow, hilo, or what have you, or even a chancho, they have a peel counterpart. They have the ability to peel. That's what you take from this video. With that said, this skip, I'm out.